Hello and welcome to Computer Music's Hands-On Look at Melda Productions M Auto Dynamic EQ version 8. The plugin is one of the most feature-packed equalizers on the market. It can be a regular go-to EQ, a multi-band compressor or expander, dynamic EQ, Deesser, matching EQ, a frequency specific sidechain tool, and the list goes on. All of these processes can be applied across each of the seven bands to the left and right channels or the mid and side channels, either together or independently. There are also a whole host of level metering and spectral analysis functions on board. The plugin's wealth of high quality features make it a versatile tool for mixing individual tracks and processing dense sonic material and subgroups. And it's perfect for critical mastering tasks too. It's available in VST and VST3 formats for PC and VST, VST3 and AU formats for Mac. And both 32-bit and 64-bit versions come as standard. In this set of videos we're going to take you through the plugin's expansive feature set and practical uses. Make sure you check out the full review in Computer Music Issue 206. To start off, we'll take a tour around M-Auto Dynamic EQ's interface. It's easy to resize the entire GUI to suit your display, simply by clicking and dragging on the bottom right corner. The plugin's main interface gives you direct access to the seven main EQ bands, plus convenient high and low pass filters. Double-clicking on the Bands panel offers further access to each band's EQ and dynamic controls. We'll fully explore these other features in depth a little later. As with the majority of Melda production plugins, you have full control over frequency display resolution using the scale tools along the bottom and right axes. Now let's look at these parameters along the top here. The dry-wet control doesn't blend the plugin's process signal in parallel with the unprocessed signal in the same way a compressor or distortion plugin would operate. Instead, it reduces the amount of gain adjustment or dynamics processing applied. This only applies to any active peak or shelf filters, not the high or low pass filters or other filter types. We found this simple dry-wet ratio to be a hugely useful feature. A setting of 100% wet equates to the original gain amount you've set, and 100% dry setting effectively bypasses any processing. So sliding between dry and wet allows you to rein in your processing in a speedy and intuitive way. The plugin's input and output gains can be adjusted here, from a minimum minus 24 dB to a maximum plus 24 dB, handy for quick level balancing. Soft saturation applies some analog style drive to your overall signal. Smoothness will, as the name implies, smooth out both the analyzer display and automatic EQ curve. At the very top of the plugin we can access the presets menu where you can save and load your settings as presets or load the factory offerings. Mm -hmm. 
the left and right arrows, scroll through these as expected. Untoggling the edit button takes you to easy mode, where you can set up macro style controls. Handy when you want to simplify the Melder production experience somewhat. You'll have to configure your easy controls by default, but the factory presets already have these pre-assigned. Bypass, unsurprisingly, bypasses the plugin's processing. This button here, when pressed, forces the plugin to report any latency to the host, resetting any sync issues caused by look ahead delay. The settings menu allows you to really customise your M Auto Dynamic EQ experience. You can assign an external MIDI controller's knobs, sliders, and faders to control any of the plugin's parameters or set up preset switching through MIDI. As with all version 8 plugins in the Melder Production Collection, you can dive in and customise M Auto Dynamic EQ's GUI. You can choose between nine core styles, or modify size and colour settings yourself. And you can even download a free style editor from the Melder Production website. All the latest versions of Melder Production plugins also let your computer offload GUI processing to the graphics card saving CPU for audio processing tasks. In the home menu you can check for updates, download the PDF manual, contact Melder Production via email and visit their various online portals. This question mark button, along with others found dotted around the plugin, opens a useful help menu, which we're sure you'll need to turn to at least once. Over on the plugin's right side, we have the plugin toolbar, again universal to all Melder Production version 8 plugins. Here you can change between 1, 2, 3 or 4 times upsampling to reduce aliasing artefacts at the expense of a higher CPU hit and added latency. The channel mode button allows you to switch between the plugin's various stereo processing modes. The left and right channels can be processed either together in regular left and right mode or separately. You can also process the mid signal independently of the side signal, or both mid and side together. Similar to left and right mode, but with more control over a signal's stereo width and dynamics. If you want to process both the mid and side signals one after another, you simply load two instances of the plugin, one in mid mode and the second in side mode. The automatic gain control button activates some clever input and output loudness measurement, which is then used to automatically adjust the output volume after any processing. This real-time gain balance is ideal for instant re-leveling before and after signals, to prevent gain differences influencing processing decisions. The set button performs this automatic gain control process offline with the subsequent gain adjustment updated on the output gain parameter. The limiter button toggles a transparent single band brick wall safety limiter to prevent the output signal climbing over 0 dB FS. Up to eight immediate presets can be created and toggled between using the A to H selector buttons. The AB button lets you immediately switch between the last two presets. You can mix between the first four presets by using the Morph button. This morphing process will overwrite the currently selected preset, 
so it's advised to select preset E or above, to then write this new custom blend of settings to its own slot. There are also copy and paste buttons at the bottom here to duplicate your settings over to another letter. M Auto Dynamic EQ's Multi Parameters and Modulators section allows you to assign up to four parameters to each of the four multi slots. And here you can also modulate the majority of parameters using the four available mod slots. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.